It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Hey, Ernie Johnson here, and I'm joined by Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. Tonight, we'll see the Miami Heat playing against the Toronto Raptors in their house, Air Canada Center. For the Raptors, they're not satisfied with the record over the last 10 games. Under 500 basketball, just not good enough. Looking to improve tonight. Still a little strange to see D. Wade out of a Heat uniform, but we'll get to see him tonight. As his career winds down, where do you see him on the list of all-time shooting guards? Let's see, three-time champion, one finals MVP. I'm going to say he's the third best shooting guard in the modern era. Would you like to tell us who the first two are? I would never say Mike and Kobe. Oh, okay. I well, see, I, I don't consider uh, Michael the modern era because after 2000s, I'm saying he's not the modern anymore. So I would say that Dwayne would be the second best shooting guard in the modern era. Well, it depends on what you call modern. Exactly. Well, anything, I think anything, the 90s are pretty modern. Exactly. I mean, the last 20 years, about? don't you yes. think that's pretty modern? Do you have a TV from the 90s in your house? Uh, that's three, not modern. Three of them. Exactly. From the 90s? <laughs> yes. Oh, three my God. Three from the 90s. Yes. Oh. And, yeah, like my buddy. Like There's my buddy nothing says. in my house. And I agree with you, Ernie. And my non-working one is on don't top be a of the working one. Yeah. Don't forget where you come from, millennial man. I'm a yeah. millennial guy. No, it's so. right over there next He's to my... He's number two. It's right over there next to my transistor radio. He's number two. Michael is not modern anymore. No, no. Eight track flare and my in my toaster oven. Why is he still selling shoes right and if he's not modern? Got yeah. him, Judge no. Ernie. Yeah. Michael still has an earring, a loop earring in his ear. But he's, he's still modern. selling <laughs> shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Kevin Harlan. look to take charge at the Air Canada Center here in downtown Toronto with David Aldridge on our sideline and here with me Greg Anthony and Steve Smith this is Kevin Harland looking at Toronto they took the win in their last game against the Nets in Brooklyn and that result guys was a real shocker it was just about as complete a dominant performance as we've seen them and sometimes in that hostile environment it is hard to stay true to who you are but give them credit they did especially on offense well, they came in with a strong game plan, made adjustments when they needed to, and kept the crowd out of their heads. And before we get going, let's hear from David Aldridge John on the sideline. David? Thank you, Kevin. Now, Dwayne Casey has been the head coach in Toronto for the better part of a decade now. He said the most rewarding part of coaching has been watching his players grow up, watching a guy go from never playing in an NBA game before to developing into an all-star player that's probably the most rewarding thing that you can do as a coach. Now, Kevin, he's helping this team and its players both make the leap forward. Great stuff, D.A. Coach Casey definitely gets the best out of his guys. You can tell they love playing for him. Steve, we have a great matchup in the backcourt in this one. What are some of the toughest aspects of defending against guards who can light it up? The toughest thing is, Kevin, when you have a guard that has it going from behind the line, and he's a primary a guy that drives the basketball. So you're planning for the drive, but he is starting to light you up from behind the line. So you're really in no man's land. You get up on him, nice he's going game, around huh? you, then he's knocking down the three. That's when you start yelling, help, help. <laughs> <laughs> All fueled up and ready to go. Let's check out who's on the floor, courtesy of Gatorade. On the court for the Heat, Olenek down low with Whiteside. Dragic and Waiters, they're the backcourt. And it's Richardson in at the small forward position. You know the Raptors have the advantage of continuity. There's a trust and an understanding they share helps them win a lot of games.
on the free throw no good and we had talked about the continuity and maturity of this Raptors team is there a flip side to that Steve does that limit their upside well Kevin is interesting this front office has brought in some nice young pieces I wouldn't write off their upside they can improve if those younger guys make some strides Olenek can't hit and it's the Raptors ball and this is their first time matched up with this year's heat team and they usually came out on top when these two teams faced off last year. No surprise, they're the better team. Now, here's DeRozan. He kicks it to Valanciunas. Count it! Valanciunas has got the first basket of the game for the Raptors. That's where Valanciunas is a handful, inside and on the block. Agic against Lauer. There's a screen. Right side dishes to Waiters. Six on the shot clock. It's stolen by Valanciunas. Here's on an open. Richardson cover. It's deflected. DeRozan against Waiters. He feeds it to Whiteside. Outside Dragic. Here's Olinick. From outside the arc, rebounded by Dallin Junis. DeRozan against Waiters. DeRozan passes to Lowry. Back to DeRozan. And it's Miami with the rebound. They put up a nice win against Utah last time out. And, and I know the defense wasn't great, but yet and still, their ability to stay composed was impressive. When things come too easy, it's easy to lose focus. But they held each other accountable and played hard. We're just about two minutes into the first quarter. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. And when you think about a slasher, a guy who makes his living attacking off the dribble, no better example than DeMar DeRozan. You know, Steve, DeRozan, a great ball handler for his size. He can isolate or work in the pick and roll. Gentlemen, Does a nice job shots. of coming off screens and two rolls, shots. being able to create for his teammates, and also a big-time slasher that can put you on a poster. He misses the free throw. Good free throw shooter DeRozan. Started out as a go with the flow type player. Now looks to dominate every game. And he's good on the second. And probably the prime memories with the Heat have to be from the big three era. I mean, the team has done a great job of, of transitioning from that era to this current one, but classic example for me of reloading versus rebuilding. Dragic, Miami no good on that time either. That's one he knows he should have drained. On the wing, DeRozan. The shot's good on the assist by Lowry. One of his strong points, DeMar DeRozan is so dependable when he gets to the mid-range, he knocks those down often. And Greg, credit the Miami Heat for an office and coaching staff for continuing to keep this team competitive despite losing several Hall of Fame-type players in the last couple of years. And that is never an easy task for a franchise to go through. But the Heat have stayed in the competitive picture with smart signings and trades and don't discount the impact. Eric Spolster has had on that roster. Toronto leading by five. Kept alive. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Love the aggression that Valanchunas showed there. He welcomed the contact inside to get to the line. And Valanchunas, far from a finished product, Steve, his coaches and teammates feel he will get better. But in your opinion, where does he need to improve? I think on a defensive end, he does a nice job of blocking shots, but I would love to see him in rotations being able to be there a little bit earlier. And then on the offensive end, extend his range a little bit more and also have a somewhat Take of a, a go-to move Two down shots. on the low block.
And the first one drops. For a player his size, Valanchunas has always been a good free throw shooter. We won't see a hack of Val anytime soon. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And Valanchunas out of Lithuania, the fifth overall pick back in 2011. Yeah, he's still quite young. You know, a lot of talent offensively. Defensively, he's probably had less of an impact, but that's where he has to take the next step. Now, here's Whiteside. He picked up 18 points in the last win against Utah. And his shot blocking almost single-handedly changed the game. No one wanted to put up a shot with him lurking. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And he's at 73% this year at the foul line. Adequate, but not spectacular. And Steve, when you reach this midway point of the season, the All-Star break approaching, how many teams are looking forward uh, to get some rest at this stage? I think a lot. I think sometimes when you have guys have that nagging injuries, you're looking for that break. Uh, some teams that have not have been playing their best, you want to just get some time away and hoping you can come back after All-Star break. So having this week-long All-Star breaks now, it helps the body, it helps the mind, and a lot of these teams, it gets them back on track. Kind of hit that reset button, huh? Yes. I've been hitting that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh! That after. Way wow. up there. The veteran move by DeRozan anticipates, causes the turnover, then sends them off to the races. And that was Under Armour bringing you that replay. Unleash chaos. And what a play it was. Rogic kicks the white side. Passes it to Waiters. And Waiters with the stuff. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. The pass to Ananova. Screened by Ibaka. Here's the screen. Feeds it to DeRozan. And he banks in the layup. DeRozan's got seven points in the game. He's been locked in all quarter, really finding his rhythm. Pass to Olenek, over Ibaka, and Olenek with the basket on the assist by Dragic. I love the compact stroke there for Olenek. Raptors leading by four. Lowry with the ball, playing Brooklyn. He was nearly unstoppable. Valanciunas, good. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. Lowry against Dragic. Waiters outside. Back to Dragic. Olenek dishes to Richardson. That one doesn't go. Now Toronto takes it the other way. Here's DeRozan. Again, Toronto. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Waiters with the screen for Dragic. To the inside. Waiters against Lowry. Good work defensively by Lowry. The Raptors have gone 6 of 10 from the field in this ballgame. And DeRozan kicks to Lowry. Oh, the lob to DeRozan. And the dunk by DeRozan. Keep your head on a swivel with DeRozan on the floor. He'll finish way up top with an alley-oop. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. You know, Smitty, you love the grit of Kyle Lowry. Six foot nothing, but he holds his ground. A hard-nosed defender. He puts his body on the line all the time. You see him taking a lot of charges. Great quickness, too, and anticipation to rack up a lot of steals. Here's what Toronto's going with right now. Pascal Siakam comes in for Serge Ibaka. And it's C.J. Miles in for Ananobi. Then for the Heat, Johnson comes in for Olenek. And it's Justin Winslow in for Richardson. And, and you know, normally when you look at a guy like Whiteside with, with the field goal percentage and all, you think it's all about dunks. But I tell you what, he's improved his entire repertoire of scoring options near the rim. And now he's even showing that he can step out and knock down that little face-up 15-footer.
free throw. Good. White side. White side earlier in his career didn't have as many options to score, but Greg, he's been very conscious of keeping that improvement of his game, and especially on the offensive end. And Whiteside has been self-motivated since he's come back to the NBA. He's got the great length. Uh, he gets the hooks. He's got that baby hook up over the defenders, the soft shooting touch, and he just continues to improve offensively all the while still being a force on the defensive side of the floor. A nice shot by Winslow. Well, this is what every coach emphasizes. Keep your head up. Be willing to make the extra pass. Raptors leading by seven. Outside Lowry. And there's the feed to DeRozan. Just five on the clock. To the wing right side. Valanciunas. They get it again. Here's Siakam. But he stays with it. Screen by Valanciunas. Dishes it to Miles. Pass to DeRozan. Well, it was only a matter of time, but they finally get the bucket. DeRozan's got 15 points. Rogic kicks to Winslow, and the dunk by Winslow. And if that doesn't get them fired up, guys, nothing will. Greg, just what the doctor ordered, huh? Some high-flying annex to narrow the deficit. Not only does that dunk help in cutting into this lead, but it gives this team a real confidence boost, too. They set the screen. Three-pointer, Lowry, and it's Miami with the rebound. Johnson right side. That's in coming off an assist from Drogic. Drogic has got his third assist on the night. Raptors leading by five. Alan Junis with a screen on Drogic. Lowry kicks to Miles. Fires for three. He can't get it to go. Now the Heat take it the other way. Johnson, the pass to Drogic. Johnson dishes to Drogic. Back to Johnson. And Waiters kicks to Whiteside. Over Valanciunas. Not enough on that one as it misses. And you see why his reputation is so strong. Ooh. Oh! Incredible leaper, explosive finisher DeRozan with one of his acrobatic dunks. The Heat trail by seven. Waiters dishes to Dragic. Whiteside sets the pick for Winslow. Kicks it to Whiteside. And it's Dragic off the drive. And the rejection by Valanciunas. To the middle. Here's Miles. It's tipped. They recover it. Valanciunas with a screen on Dragic. Lowry can't get it to go. Miami's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Fires from the wing. And it's good. Two points. This is why you like to get him touches. He makes things happen. Raptors leading by five. So timeout called here. The first for Toronto. And it's great to see how the Raptors have energized the city of Toronto and the whole country of Canada, in my opinion. They have some passionate fans. And guess what? A new generation falling in love with the game. Well, the Raptors with terrific attendance rates and playoff games are a hot ticket, Steve. Yes, they are. There hadn't been a lot of postseason action in Toronto. The baseball and hockey teams are not exactly lighting it up, but the Raptors have been a bright spot for sure. And the Heat with some changes. Autobio is checked in for Whiteside. Dwayne Wade comes in for Waiters. And Ellington is subbed in for Goran Dragic. A uh, uh, team's rebounding is a great measure of its energy, and theirs has been terrific here in the first quarter. He got a good look from the mid-range area. He needs to shoot this one with more confidence. And the shot is good, and the Raptors lead by seven. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Wade kicks to Ellington, passes it to Autobio. Wade dishes to Ellington. 
Winslow against Miles. From deep, Johnson. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Miles, the pass to Van Vliet. In the corner, right with it. No good with the triple. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. And out of bounds as Toronto gains possession. Raptors leading by seven. 106 left to play in the first quarter. He dishes it to Miles. The putback. It's good on the putback. Pirtle's got his first basket of the night. Got to be on the lookout for Pirtle crashing the glass, using his body to wreck the defense on the boards. Wade kicks to Winslow. Here's Adebayo. Wyatt so far offensively searching for his first points of the game. I like the aggressive move on the layup attempt, but the defender, he just stayed right with him. Van Vliet can't get it to go. And that's a surprise. He's usually deadly for mid-range. Seven-second difference. Shot and game clock. Over to the wing. There's Winslow. Trills the three-pointer. Winslow's got seven points. Winslow's gone three for three from the floor. Stolen by Wade. The dish now to Winslow. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. First trip to the line for him here. That's good from Winslow. Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw line. It's Miles on the wing. Over Wade. Offensive rebound. Pirtle. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. It goes on Justice Winslow. And Pirtle using his frame well. Drawing the defense into him on his shot. Raptors have gone three of four at the free throw line tonight. And, and when you got a team percentage of about 81%, uh, you're going to be one of the elites in this league. Shooting two. The free throw drops for Pirtle. What you love about Jakob Pirtle is his size. A seven-footer who plays hard on both ends of the floor. And he can't hit the second. And so it's DeMar DeRozan making highlights for the Toronto Raptors. They kept going to him again and again. And he delivered with a monster quarter. And we'll be back with you shortly. And Serge Ibaka, known for his shooting ability now, he talked about the confidence his teammates and his coach instilled in him. He trusts you. Every time he bounces the ball, when you don't shoot, he screams you, shoot ball. Then next time what? You will shoot. And if he misses, he say, yeah, good shot. You know, and your coaches in the practice talking to your teammates. Man, when Serge is open, give him the ball. He will make that shot. 
Well, if you wonder how much difference a coach can make for a player, there it is. Huh? You, you heard it in Serge's voice, too. That confidence has already been planted in him. That, that voice telling him, shoot the ball, is now in his own head. He, he's going to be just fine. All right, the second quarter beginning in just a moment. Take a look here at the Raptors' performance here, guys. Uh, what have they been doing or, or not doing, in your opinion? Aggressive rebounding in that first quarter. That's what's given them the advantage. Control the boards, and you control the flow of the game. On the court for Miami here in the second. Wade and Winslow out on the wing. Adebayo is out there with James Johnson. And it's Ellington in at the one. And great hustle to turn that block shot into a fast break opportunity. Big time play on both ends. Miles against Winslow. There's the pass to Van Vliet. To the paint. Here's Siakam. And count it. He'll head to the line with a chance to make it three. They are just killing them on the interior. And you need talent, Steve, but... You know, the, the value of chemistry can't be overlooked either. And as a player, how do you make yourself a good teammate? How do you help in that regard toward good chemistry? Well, I think one is uh, being a good person, understanding the game of life. And it's about winning, not about numbers. It's about letters, W's and What's L's, up? and you want W's. You look at a lot of teams, uh, and they play well with each other, and they're unselfish. Unselfish teams usually win. Well, they said the same thing about you. You're an all-star caliber player, but you're a great teammate. I, I think for a player, that's like the, the highest praise you could get. Yeah, it is. When you start talking about guys that hey, he's a great teammate, whether he's a superstar or a guy, the 12th man, guys want to be around that. And usually you see those guys hang around the league longer than other guys that are maybe more talented or better players. A good job by him on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in that department. There's Van Vliet, Ellington defending. There's the screen. Pass to Siakam. And it's blocked. And here in the second, with about a minute and a half gone by, pass to Autobio. Good ball movement here by the Heat. Screen by Olenek. Six to shoot. He used that pick to get in close. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Right outside. It's Pirtle top of the key. Here's on an open. Richardson cover. Here's Wright. After two misses to start the game, he's on the board with that shot made. Hurdle setting the quality screen, made himself into a brick wall to create space. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, guys, Miami's Eric Spolstra is known for his focus and his devotion to work. How does he stay centered? Yoga. He said, I like it because you have to keep your eyes on your own mat. If you're not focused on the spot in front of you, you'll fall over. Kevin, that mindfulness translates across the board. Mindfulness, that's an interesting way to look at things, D.A. Spo is a great, great communicator. Knows how to certainly get through to his team. Van Vliet kicks to right. Bertel sets the pick for right. Out to the right wing. Here's on an open. Richardson cover. That one a little long. The Heat trail by six. Wade with it. Now right defender. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Here's on an open. Wade is covering. Stolen by Wade. Deflects the pass. And it's out of bounds. The Raptors will take it the other way. A chance to take a look at the shot chart for the Raptors. And really, what jumps out to me about this shot chart is just how aggressive he's been when on the floor. I mean, he's doing everything he can to get as close to the hoop as possible before putting up that shot, and it's worked out in a big way for him and his team. And uh, almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. Van Vliet kicks to right. It's Pirtle top of the key. 
feeds to right. Five to shoot. Bertle sets the pick for right. Fires the three. Offensive rebound. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. How about the purpose with which he's crashing the backboards right now? Some hard-earned second-chance points. Here's Wade to end the drought, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. And, and you look at all the accomplishments, all the great moments from Wade's career. No doubt he is going to the hall as soon as he's eligible. One of the greatest two guards to ever play. Free throw good from Wade. And it's shocking when you look at the numbers that Wade has had over the years. He never won an MVP award. Certainly, Greg played like an MVP in some of his seasons. But the rest of the accolades are there for D. Wade. Uh, all the trips to the All-Star game, the first team, all defense, the all-NBA teams. But most important to him and his legacy are the three NBA titles. So he hits one of two from the strike. There have been seasons where Wade has averaged over 10 free throws a game. He knows how to get to the line. Van Vliet passes to Purdue. Wade against Wright. Off the pick. And finished off by Wright. And it was the screen there, guys, that freed him up as he ran his man into it. And then it was all acceleration, G.A., to the bucket right after that. That was just a textbook pick that allowed him room, and he took advantage of it. Wade against Wright. Misses from short range. And they have built their advantage on the scoreboard here by doing all the little things. On an Obi. And there are the Raptors with another bucket. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. And the Heat call time here. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this time out also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Here's what Miami's going with right now. Whiteside's checked in for Otto Bayer. Waiters comes in for Dwayne Wade. And it's Drogic in for Wayne Ellington. Here's Waiters. Here's Whiteside. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the layup. Whiteside's got his third bucket of the night. Yeah, and the presence of Whiteside in the paint, really unreal. He, he is a dominant figure down low. Great work to grab that second chance opportunity. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. And Waiters kicks to Dragic. He feeds it to Whiteside. Good ball movement here by Miami. Here's Richardson. It's good. It's his second basket. He's shooting two for four. And this is the value of letting the play develop. You find the weakness in the defense. Lowry kicks to Ibaka. His first shot coming late. It's hauled in by the Heat. Whiteside's got four rebounds now tonight. Outside Dragic. Back to Richardson. Expanding his range. Richardson missing again. Raptors leading by nine. Rose and dishes to Lowry. Lets it go from deep. Gets that one to fall after missing his first two. One for three from the field. Lowry gets more and more comfortable launching threes the longer he's in the league. Dragic against Lowry. And Whiteside with the basket on the assist from Dragic. Dragic has got four assists in the game. Dragic against Lowry. Ibaka outside. 
Wants to get it to DeRozan and does. Here's Valanciunas. He made that one. Basket number three for him. He's also missed two. Great heads up look there from DeRozan to get his teammate an easy basket. And Waiters kicks to Dragic. Right side up top. Outside Dragic. Ibaka with some nice D. Yeah, the aggressive D inside leads to a missed opportunity there. You know, he had terrific position. Does a good job of affecting the shot without fouling. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. Oh, and with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Here's Waiters. Chalk up two there. Waiters got his second bucket of the night. To Wayne Casey, he's in his seventh season as a head coach of the Raptors. He's developed a great continuity and a comfort level with his players. DeRozan against Waiters. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. And Casey is very collaborative with his staff and players. You know why, Kevin? He has no ego with him. It's always a two-way conversation with his players. It's about getting it right, no matter whose idea it is. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. He's off on the first. And, and really, DeMar DeRozan is a master at what he calls body hunting. That, that ability to just kind of draw a foul. I think he and James Harden actually are the guys that have really kind of set the tone for how to create those opportunities to get to the line. C.J. Miles, he's checked in for Toronto. And he sinks the second. And DeMar DeRozan always, Greg, among the league leaders in free throw attempts. And when you look at him, 6'7", 220 pounds with tremendous athleticism, he has got all the tools. Beyond, though, that attack mentality, he's a savvy basketball player. Those little shot fakes, his footwork, help this guy live at the line. The Heat trail by 13. Now here's Waiters. 29 points for him last game against Utah. You can't forget about how great he was at forcing contact and getting to the line. He racked up a lot of easy points at the line that way. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. That one on DeRozan. The Heat have converted four of seven free throws on the night. He misses the free throw. And even at this level of basketball, players are still developing their ability to handle and finish with their offhand. Uh, what was that process, Steve, like for you? I, I think when you start to look at basketball, if you're a right-handed player, coaches always will talk defensively, push him left. And most of the times, you're going to get pushed to your offhand. And if you're starting to make the team pay with your offhand, then they'll play you more honest. And then you have advantage because you can go right or left. But when teams and defenders understand you can't go to your offhand, that's the way you're going. So the more you can work on that left hand, if you're right-handed, that makes the defense more honest. Was that a career-long thing for you? It, 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 did it take you the length, or was it something that you established early in your career and just kind of carried through your, your many years in the league? It was pretty good because I worked on it, Kevin, but I, I, I would think I was probably still about 70-30, maybe 60-40. The guys that are 50-50 when you, no matter where you push them and they can make plays, a guy that I look at, Mike Conley, his float is left and right, there's no difference. It's hard to guard guys like that. Mm -hmm. For Miami, they have shot just above 55% of the line, going five of nine.
No good on the free throw. He hits the second from the line. And, Greg, you hear about the competitive culture that this Miami Heat franchise has. Yeah, and that doesn't always work for some teams, but it works for the Heat. This group will push each other all the time to be the best they can be. The practices have a feel of game-level intensity. Dragic with a wide-open look, and the lead is down inside single digits. Textbook, nice pass, great catch, even better finish. Lowry passes to DeRozan. And that basket to his impressive total brings him to 10 for 14. DeRozan has such good body control that it's very difficult to disrupt his shot with contact. Right side of screen. Johnson goes in. Yep, that one goes. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. And 74%, yeah, you know, so-so. He probably wouldn't mind seeing it a little bit higher. good from Johnson he's in attack mode drawing contact now getting to the line something he didn't do at all in the first quarter and Valanciunas kicks to Ibaka and the wide open shot from Maya and again Toronto with the triple nice pass not really known as a natural facilitator but Ibaka has the experience at this point to execute these plays Rogic dishes to Winslow he kicks it to Johnson. Waiters passes to Whiteside. Another shot. Got him with the pump fake, but couldn't finish. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. No surprise in a battle of wheels down low, the big man comes away with it. Lowry against Dragic. The feed now to Johnson. And that's good. And it's Dragic with the assist. Eight points for James Johnson. You know, he had a hot start to this game. He's only gotten hotter. We'll see if the defense makes an adjustment. They set the pick. Dishes to Ibaka. Ibaka with a screen on Dragic. Shot clock at six. Shots good by Ibaka. Ibaka's got five. Yeah, that's two straight three-pointers they've allowed. Dragic kicks to Waiters. The rebound by Ibaka. Ibaka's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. DeRozan with it. Now guarded by Dragic. Lowry. Lowry can't get that one to fall. Lazy defense against a good score. Turns out not to matter. Raiders no luck. How does he miss that layup? He's too good to be doing that. And it's Justice Winslow with the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. I, I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Right against Wade. Let's it go from 14. Here's Siakam. Banked in off the glass. Siakam's got the lead up to 14 now for the Raptors. And every offensive board is an extra possession. If you're trying to compete from this far down, you cannot allow that. You know, I wonder, where's the passion? You can't afford a no-show here on the defensive glass. And so it's Toronto sitting with a comfortable lead up by 14. They've been putting on a clinic in the paint. Shots are falling with regularity, and they are pounding it down low. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. 
Thank you, Kevin. Kyle, a good first half for you all. How do you continue that for the rest of the game? We gotta come out with our energy. We gotta come out and play our game and keep going out there and pushing. Our defense and everybody's rotating, so we're playing together right now. We'll see if you stay connected in the second half. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, y'all. Welcome back. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith. That's Shaquille O'Neal. Thanks for joining us. And, a, boy, a pumped-up home crowd is behind us right now. DeMar DeRozan putting in some serious work for the team tonight. He ended up with 22 points, three rebounds, and two assists. And taking a look at the Raptors, Kenny, what did you see out there? Their ability to get into the paint and get to the rim has been deadly, constantly attacking the basket. It was clearly their intention right from the start to pound it inside as much as possible. And I don't see them straying from that strategy in the second half. It's going to be another paint-based attack. And Shaq, your thoughts on the heat? Ernie, I don't use this word a lot because, one, I can't spell it, but it was definitely a subpar effort for them on the glass. That hurt. They're serious about cutting into this deficit. It's gut check time. Ugh, you hear that, Ernie? I'm hitting my gut. Ugh, you got to check your gut, Ernie. Ugh, gut check time, Ernie. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. The evening commute has plenty of people on the move here tonight in Toronto, where we welcome you back to On 2K. Now it's been a one-sided affair so far through the first two quarters, but there's plenty of time to mount a comeback. A fantastic game from DeMar DeRozan so far. And, and let's see what the defense counters with to try and control him here in the second half. Well, you like to run more doubles at him, but the risk there is opens up things for everybody else. Now it's been a one-sided affair so far through the first two quarters, but there's plenty of time to mount a comeback. Toronto leading by 14. Abaka is the four, and Valanciunas in the middle. Lowry and DeRozan are the one and the two. They create so much offense. And it's on an OB in at the three slot. That's the five out there for the Raptors. Well, Steve, you were such a great shooter over the course of your terrific career. Is that something that just came naturally to you? Was it... Was it learning the right technique early on, or was it just repetition? You know, Kevin, started off in high school. I was a big George Gervin fan, so I had my elbows out trying to shoot like him. Got to Michigan State, and Judd Heathcote had his little ruler making my elbow get in, and he had this thing called ready shoot. I did that over and over and over. So I would say, naturally, I was pretty good, but it was repetition and a guy like Judd Heathcote making me a good shooter into a better shooter. And then plus... I played with Tim Duncan and David Robinson one year. You're talking about wide open looks. I led the league in three-point shooting because of those guys. And the Raptors unique in the NBA. They have a whole nation behind them. <laughs> and basketball continues to gain in popularity, especially with the younger generation in Canada. Uh, the Raptors are coming to relevance at the perfect time. And that rabid fan base energized by how competitive this group's been the last couple seasons. And here is Waiters. Wide side, a screen on DeRozan. And count it. He'll head to the line with a chance to make it three. If you're going What's in up? amongst the trees, you have got to be aggressive. Especially at that kind of height disadvantage. You're looking to score the ball or at least draw the foul. The Heat have made a little more than half their free throws today, 7 of 12. And taking a look at their free throw statistics on the season, uh, right around 74%. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. Free throw. Good waiters. Raptors leading by 13. Lowry kicks to DeRozan. Over waiters. And DeMar DeRozan the bucket on the assist by Lowry. 
DeRozan's got four points now in the quarter. And uh, Miami shooting about 42% so far. Rogic kicks to Waiters. Back to Drogic. There's the pick. Wants to get it back to Whiteside and does. Over Valanciunas. Whiteside, no good. Yeah, you, you love the solid screen, but what you hate is just the inability to finish. You can see he's frustrated with that one. Knows it's up to him to make that play. And, and on the defensive side, just a failure to match up. Well, the one thing you want to take away is anything at the rim. Just too easy. They've been doing a great job of sharing the ball. And guys, shot A comes to mind for me because right now that offense, it's a smooth operator. Just how they drew it up coming out of the half. Three straight from the field. Now here's Waiters. He has seven. Right side Dragic. Kicks it to Whiteside. And the rejection by Valanciunas. You see the length of Valanciunas on display with that block. Just went up and got it. And it's the Heat with the ball. 17-point game. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Lowry kicks to Valanciunas. Rebound by the Heat. Whiteside's got 11 rebounds in the game. Richardson with it. Lowry picks him up. Here's Dragic. And Valanciunas pulls it down. Valanciunas has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Here's DeRozan. The putback. Pass to Lowry. Ibaka against Olenek. Ibaka. This is two DeRozan. And another shot. Almost, but it rolls out. The Heat trail by 14. Here's Waiters. That's in coming off an assist from Dragic. Dragic has got six assists now in the game. That was just a perfect possession. Getting it in tight for the high percentage shot. At the elbow, it's Ibaka. He dishes a two to Rosen. From 15 feet away, rebound by Olenek. And that's the look this offense is designed to produce. Always frustrating when you do everything right, yet just can't complete the play. Rogic kicks to Richardson. It's hauled in by the Raptors. 17 points was their biggest margin. Here's DeRozan, and he drops it in from the low post. DeRozan's got 28 points for the game. Well, we know he's been confident with the shot. A big reason why they're ahead in this game. And the Heat call time here. You gotta like what DeMar DeRozan has done in this game. The man has been relentless scoring inside, attacking the rim every chance he gets. Their defense has been powerless to stop him. We'll see what adjustments they make coming out of this timeout. Pirtle, he is checked in for the Raptors. And Miami with a change here, too. Adebayo is checked in for Whiteside. The Heat trail by 14. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Screen by Olenek. Rogic kicks to Waiters. Lays it up and banks it in. Waiters got 11 points. And he's really shot the ball well, but, but it hasn't been contagious. Ibaka with a screen on Dragic. The dish to DeRozan. The shot comes out. The Heat go the other way with it. Following this game, they'll hit the road to challenge the Pacers of Pacers Arena in Indianapolis. That'll be the second of this two-game road trip. And the basket by Olenek. I love the adjustments he's made here in the second half, getting the looks he wants now and shooting a much higher percentage. Screen by Ibaka. Raiders against DeRozan. Here's Ibaka. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assists. And it's seven points for Serge Ibaka. The Heat trail by 12. Dragic with it. He isn't playing a big part of their offensive scheme, averaging around 15 and a half points a game. 
Richardson the pass to Olenek. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. Four on the shot clock. No good from Dragic. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. Ibaka sets the pick for Lowry. Over Olenek. Ibaka, no luck. Well, not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. And Ibaka, a cornerstone player for seven years in Oklahoma City, but they trade him away to Orlando and subsequently traded to Toronto. You thought he'd have a bigger role in OKC under Benny Donovan, but it didn't happen. He wasn't content to just spot up and wait for the basketball. And they thought he might leave in free agency, so they looked to give value in return. Takes the 13-footer. DeRozan's shot is off. The Heat trail by 10. And Waiters kicks to Richardson. The lead now in single digits. Richardson's got six points. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. The Raptors shooting 43% from the floor. At the elbow, it's Ibaka. The pass to Lowry. Shoots over Dragic. And the shot no good, a bit short. And this is one of those times where the coach has got to preach, be unselfish. And we don't know that he hasn't. Maybe it's been falling on deaf ears. Guys taking ill-advised jump shots. Pulls it from 20. That one's good, and the Raptor lead is cut down now to just six points with that basket from Richardson. Great change of direction. He sold the defense that he was taking the look time out, time and out. instead found his teammate for an even better one. Started. Toronto calls timeout. Yeah, you, you need to refocus now. Momentum is running against you. And from what I'm seeing, there's too many unfavorable matchups out there on the floor. And a new group in for the Heat. Johnson, he's checked in for Olenek. Winslow comes in for Josh Richardson. Dwayne Wade, he's checked in for Waiters. And Ellington is subbed in for Goran Dragic. Here's Siakam. He's guarded by Johnson. It's Miles on the wing. Off target from outside. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Ellington, the pass to Autobio. It's deflected. Gotta love the shot blocking ability of Purdle. Wonderful timing right there. Van Vliet. And again, no good by Toronto. On offense, here are the Heat. They're on a 17 to 6 run. Johnson can't hit. Toronto leading by six. Right outside. And stolen by Ellington. And it's the Heat on the break. Played with the ball. Pass to Autobio. And he uses the glass on the layup. Autobio's got four points in the quarter. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And it's Justice Winslow with the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. Here's Van Vliet. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. Pass to Miles. Down to five on the shot clock. Shoots over Winslow. And that one hits back iron. The Heat trail by four. Wade kicks to Ellington. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Siakam's got ten rebounds here tonight. So active. Down low. They get a hand on it. And taken away by Johnson. A finish. Now that's how to finish the break. Throw down with force. Nice read by Dwayne Wade. Beautiful. Here's Van Vliet. Passes it to Siakam. To the paint. Here's Van Vliet. And that time, also a missed shot. And uh, Miami shooting an outstanding 55% from the field since the half. You know, their execution has been on point. And it goes out of bounds. Uh, last touch by Wade.
now right. He's usually able to provide some lift to his team, averaging six points a game. The pass to Van Vliet. Feeds it to right. There's a good screen. Shoots off the screen. Siaka misses. Miami trailing. Wade dishes to Johnson. No good. That would have tied it. It's been several possessions since they've converted. And they've got to find a way to change that. Here's Van Vliet. Here's Pirtle. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Pirtle's got five. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. And it's right, sending it back. And he gets it back. Here's Autobio. And here is Wright. Pass to Siakam. Here's Van Vliet. He feeds it to Pirtle. To the paint. Lock at six. Offensive rebound. Off with the layup. The Heat trail by four. Ellington kicks to Wade. Now, here's Ellington, guarded closer. And sticking right with it, gets the foul with the bucket, and he'll go to the line. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Got to admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? And Toronto making a change here. Valanciunas has checked in. Heat also with a sub. Whiteside's checked in for Autobio. One shot, gentlemen. And that one falls for Ellington. Here's Van Vliet. 137 left in the third quarter. He kicks it to Valanciunas. And the dunk by Valanciunas. Love the flush there from Valanciunas, leaving no doubt on that play. Wade outside. Back to Ellington. They set the pick. The feed to Winslow. Good ball movement here by the Heat. Six on the shot clock. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And a look now at the four areas where shots can come from. The paint, mid-range, and shots from deep all broken down for the Heat. And one thing they can definitely improve on is their work from three-point range, especially from the corners. That's an area of the floor that has been a black hole for them this season. If they can start to get some points from the corners, it'll really open things up for them. The first one falls. And he makes both free throws. Taking advantage at the charity strike like he always does. Terrific touch. Now here's Wright. Screen by Valanciunas. And he was camped in the lane there, and he gets the three-second call. And, of course, free throws always so important. Here are the leaders. Well, you look at Miles, the best in the NBA. You put him on the line, and it's nearly automatic. And you simply got to avoid sending him to the line. Absolutely no one has better form from the strike than he does. Right side of screen for three Ellington. That falls. Nice feed that time from Dwayne Wade. Ellington's got eight points here in this quarter. Toronto trailing. Dishes to Miles. Kicks to Valanciunas. Miles against Winslow. Back to Valanciunas. Good for basket number six for him in the contest. He's shooting six for 12.
The drive by Wave. Not a piece of it. And quarter's almost over. You don't want to give the ball back here. Got to be smart about it. Even if you miss, you want to leave no time on the clock. Ballinger is with a screen on Wade. Here's White. The teardrop falls in. White's got his third basket of the night. Beautiful screen right there from Valanchunas. He is not an easy guy to get around. Wade with it. Basket counts. Wade's got the game tied up here for Miami. And how's that for a move? The killer crossover. It's a thing of beauty. And we wrap up the third and looking to be an exciting fourth quarter. We've got more in store for you right after this. Now let's take a listen on head coach Dwayne Casey. Get the pass, pass, attack. Pass, pass, attack. But down there, we got to get stopped. Dwayne Casey focusing on ball movement and finishing strong, but also getting it done on D. Yeah, getting stops and then taking care of the boards. It's only working if you get control of the basketball. Welcome back as we get rolling once more. The fourth quarter right ahead in what's been a very well-contested game. On the floor for Miami, Wade and Winslow out on the wings. James Johnson is out there with Whiteside, and it's Ellington in at the one spot. And you talk about fighting your way back into a game. They've shown a lot of grit in this comeback. Tremendous composure on display. When they were down big, they did not panic. They just stuck with the game plan. Inside, here's Van Vliet. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. They set the pick. Winslow, the pass to Whiteside. He dishes it to Ellington. Five on the clock. And the dunk by Winslow. And that's how it's done. I mean, find <laughs> that hole in the D and then go hard to the right. Maybe that hole was a little bigger than it should have been. It looked like a total breakdown to me there. He exploited that hole perfectly and made them pay. Toronto calls timeout. <laughs> you can see his wheels are turning. We'll see what he draws up here. It's been an ongoing battle of adjustments, trying to identify your strongest matchup each time down the floor. A different look for Miami. Olenek is checked in for Johnson. Richardson comes in for Winslow. And it's Drogic in for Wayne Ellington. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear Dwayne Casey talk to his team. He is not happy with the perimeter defense. He said, guys, our three-point line is too lax, and they're getting wide-open shots. Got to get over screens and get on top of them and get them off the line. We'll see if they get the message, guys. Okay, David, much appreciated. First one falls for him. No good on the second free throw. Only down two now, but that miss might come back to haunt you. If they don't get a stop, it's back to a two-possession game. Screen by Olenek. Whiteside dishes to Dragic. That three off the mark. You know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. Just great at getting after it defensively, forcing guys into tough shots. Yeah, to be successful, you've got to protect the paint. He rises to that challenge. 
An aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Here is Lowry. He's been feeding the ball very nice. Nine assists now tonight. He's been the ultimate distributor here tonight. It's showing up on the stat sheet, but more importantly, it's going to show up in the win column. When Valanciunas is getting it to fall from there, the defense is in trouble. Rogic kicks to Whiteside. And it's Wade in the corner. Here's Dragic from outside. The basket good off the assist from Wade. And that's now seven points for Gordon Dragic. You know, D. Wade has always been a playmaker. Passing is a part of what makes him special. Screened by Ibaka. Here's DeRozan. Rebound by the Heat. Whiteside's got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. Back to Wade. Richardson the pass to Whiteside. And the rejection by Valanciunas. Raptors trail by five. DeRozan with it. Wade picks him up. It's stolen by Wade. Here's Dragic. Wade outside. Right side a screen. Right side a screen on DeRozan. Wade, and they'll keep possession. Now Lowry. Screen by Valanciunas. Here's the dish to Lowry. To the middle. Looking for Ibaka. He gets it there. And that one is off. And a little frustration now missing on the catch and flush. You know, because it's all about timing. Just unable to connect. One of those plays you really want back. Wade gets the bucket. Oh, great ball movement there. The Raptors have gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. Ibaka with a screen on Wade. Will it go? Here's Valanciunas, and it's blocked by Whiteside. Here's on an open. Richardson covering. Good ball movement here by the Raptors. Pass to DeRozan. An easy layup after coming off the pit. DeRozan's got 30 points. He has gotten into a terrific groove here, trying to wheel his team back into this. Rogic kicks to Wade. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Wade's got the lead back up to nine now for Miami. You know, he's never been one to settle. D. Wade will go right at you. Ibaka, no luck. Can't finish. And defensively, nice job of altering the shot without fouling. Rogic kicks to Wade. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. One of the best in the business at drawing contact. Wade knows how to work his way to the line. That one misses. And he's good on the second. And this is the first season where we have ads on jerseys in the NBA with the teams. Gut reaction, uh, Steve, now that you've seen the ads on the jerseys, <laughs> how do you feel about it? <laughs> you no, know, Kevin, I don't like it because I know it's going to start to add up. Well, we're not going to be able to see the player's name and the logos. It's just going to be ads everywhere. I understand it, but I don't like it. You know, I can see it for practice jerseys. I can see yes. it maybe when you're selling it retail to the fans. But, I mean, isn't there enough advertising already? I mean, let, let's... 
that's one of the great things about the keep it as pure as possible. I, I get the European deal, but there's so much money here, it would seem like, like this is just an add-on that doesn't need to be added on. Kevin, I totally agree with you. I think practice jerseys, like you said, selling the jerseys maybe, but I think also maybe at the All-Star game, you can fill those guys up for that one game. But I would love to keep it pure, get the chance to just see those uniforms the way they are. Passes it to Whiteside. Tried to shoot, and oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot too. It's on Jonas Valanciunas. That's good from Wade. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Raptors trail by eight. And here's Lowry. Ibaka outside. It's a floater. And there's Lowry. That's good on the assist from Ibaka. And it's seven points for Kyle Lowry. Rogic kicks to Wade. Rogic against Lowry. No good that time. Nice D from DeRozan. Really surprising to see the huge edge they have in rebounds given what the scoreboard says. Well, Heat leading by six. Now here's Richardson. And the whistle blows as the basket counts and a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. See, in this half, I feel like he's a much different shooter. Calm, focused, and letting things come to him. Waiters, he's checked in for Miami. One shot, gentlemen. That one misses. Raptors trail by eight. The wide open look here for DeRozan. And it's off from three-point range. Miami's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. It's stolen by Valanciunas. They push it up four on three. That's tipped. They recover it. For Miami, they've gone 8 of 13 from the field since the start of the fourth, sinking the majority of their shots. Whiteside is screen on low. Here's Waiters. That's in coming off an assist from Dragic. Dragic has got assist number nine now. Wow, what an effort here tonight. Dragic against Lowry. To the inside, here's Ibaka, the offensive rebound. The Heat leading by eight. Rogic with it. Here's Whiteside. And another field goal in this total. Make it 7 for 14, shooting 50%. Up by a bunch. He's still pushing the action, trying to impose his will. With this big of a deficit in the score, you think the losing team would be playing harder. Nope, the opposite. I like to see that. Taking it up strong in traffic. And Serge Ibaka, remember, it was a first-team all-defense selection. But over time, I think he's become more of a scoring-minded player, and I think that's affected his impact defensively. C.J. Miles, he's checked in for Ananobi. And Serge Ibaka, the league leader in block shots for two years in a row in 2012 and 13, but he sends him back at about half the rate he once did. Yeah, but even still a pretty good shot blocker. You add in his finishing and outside shooting, and he's a player to be reckoned with. Dragic dishes to Olenek. Back to Dragic. Just five to shoot, and it's been a tough game for him offensively. Well, just think what's happening here. He hasn't found his groove. Yet they still hold the lead. 
Shot is good, and the Heat's lead is cut to just five on the basket from DeRozan. Loaded up with a lot of confidence, DeMar DeRozan can be a big-time performer. Right side of screen. And it's Dragic off the drive, unable to get that one. Nice deep from Valanciunas. And again, it's DeMar DeRozan. Now it's just a three-point heat lead. Look at the way DeMar just shrugged off the foul and still finished the play. Incredible. Whiteside a screen on low. Here's Krogic. Here's Whiteside. Krogic against Low. Waiters for three. And Valanciunas pulls it down. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. DeRozan's shot is off. Miami leading by three. It's stolen by DeRozan. On deep miles. And the foul on Jonas Valanciunas. That will be foul number five on him. Yeah, I mean, the way he's climbing all over him on that one, no way the officials are going to miss that. Yeah, he needed a ladder there. Terrible judgment as to how high and how far he could reach. And the shot goes in. Waiters got 11 in the second half. Sharing the basketball. Plenty of guys talk about it, but not everyone does it. Toronto's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Miles with his screen on Dragic. Fires from deep. That's it, and the Miami lead is cut down now to just two on the basket from Miles. You know he attracts a lot of defensive attention, and that enables Lowry to create open looks for his teammates. Serve and the defense there. He makes a terrific read. The pass to Miles. 11 feet away. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Miami's gone 2 of 5 on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. Olenek against Ibaka. Richardson the pass to Olenek. The kick out to Dragic. From deep. Rebound by the Raptors. And, and you know, he's got the ability. But the question is, is that really the best shot you can get? Certainly not the high percentage look. But we don't know what the game plan is calling for. That might be it. Miami with the ball. They lead by four. Down low, here's Richardson. A shot, no good. So the Raptors will take it the other way. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And Miles kicks to DeRozan. Money! What more can you ask for? Phenomenal here in the clutch. This is what fans tune in to see. And so they foul intentionally. Yeah, you, you can't let them hold the ball and just milk those five seconds away. Good on the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a four-point ball game. Nice job extending the lead and making this a two-possession game now. And the Raptors call time here. They're down by four. Fifteen seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Guys, what's your take? And this huddle up about two things, the quick shot and then the quick foul. And you're right. And if they do get the bucket, you love to foul someone who isn't automatic from the line. That would take good denial of the ball on the inbounds. Fifteen seconds left to play in the final quarter. The shot by Lowry, no good. And the foul on Jonas Valanciunas. And so he's picked up his final foul, and he will sit for the rest of this game. Obviously upset to have to take a seat here, but at this point, I don't think 
it'll have an impact. The game's probably out Shoot of reach two. anyway. First free throw is good, and that puts them up by five. And Dragic came into the NBA with something on his resume that not many other rookies have. He has a ring from winning the Slovenian Pro League the year before he came to America. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. Toronto calls timeout. They trail by five. Six seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? And this is what happens when you dig yourself a hole. It's hard to climb out of. You know, this part of the game, Focus on good execution. The rest will take care of itself. Ananobi passes to DeRozan. Out to the right wing. And again, Toronto no luck. And so it's Miami winning this one. A truly gutsy performance away from home. You know, it, it really was. And Kevin, when this one was hanging in the balance late, they showed just what a tough-minded group they can be. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Well, Dwayne, you won the game, but you lost the rebounding battle. How did you overcome that? Uh, I don't know. You know, we have a knack for finding a way to win, and um, we've always had that here. You know, we got to do a better job. Um, you know, we can't get out rebounding like that and expect to win, so uh, we got to figure it out. Sure you'll be working on it. Thanks, Dwayne. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And that about wraps it up. Now for Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA here on 2K Sports. So long, everyone.